All right, water diversion video number two. And I was right in my assumption that they would have all the water diverted by this weekend. So today is Friday evening, and uh, I just finished up my chores and everything for the day. So I come down, and so these these two pipes go back into the mines. There's a little clean out right there where they run like a jet hose down in there to clean to keep these pipes clean. Uh, it goes back up into the hill there. So this was the one that was broke off yesterday, and then the other main one. So they looks like a double elbowed them teed that and they run it all this way so they did do the pipe in the ditch here obviously where i was thinking they would probably do that uh, non-permeable fabric but this might end up being something more of a permanent uh, placement and the reason i'm saying that is is because they put a t with a clean out right here and there is some water flowing through there all right this pond officially now has no more water running into it the level has definitely dropped more since yesterday's video and there's just a trickle going out the uh, the overflow down there and it's it's starting to get stagnant down there you can see a film starting to build up on it pretty good now so how much more water will actually flow out of that thing on its own i'm going to say they're going to have to come up back here to that corner and knock the rest of that spillway out to get that uh, drained out the rest of the way all right We'll walk the same route we did yesterday and I'll show you what they've got done today. And I don't know if they're gonna leave this like this up here. They may, they may not. It seems to be working, but I don't know for how long. Sun setting in the west there, so sorry about the, the brightness and the glare. All right, so this was that concrete culvert that they dammed up. Ran into the top corner of the pond here. What they did was they ran a pipe out here, let it start dumping into here. Now it's it's holding some pretty good amount of water here. I mean it should work because they have an overflow on the other end here, so we'll walk down through here and see how they catch that. So all of that coming out of this pipe used to come out into the big pond over there. I'd actually be honest with you, I'll be surprised if they leave this like this just simply because it's open uh, to the exposed soil and stuff. So they may come back and do something, put more pipe in. And they're catching it right here. And there's still nothing flowing out of those two pipes, which is odd because they've always had water coming out of them. And it's too far between here and there to where the water was coming out of the side of the hill. So unless there was already a pipe broke in there and it just started coming out there, I, I don't know. But there's literally no water at all coming out of those pipes. Matter of fact, you look back in there, those pipes are dry. So they're catching it here and then taking it on down to the fabric. I'm thinking this might end up being the reason they did this. Now, of course, I haven't talked to them, but I'm thinking this might become a treatment area. So this might be an area where they put some soda ash in, uh, in some containers and stuff to kind of treat that water before it continues to flow out. I'm thinking that way. It doesn't mean it's right. And it's all joined together now, so. Get back on this pipe and do my balancing act. All right, then of course this is where the uh, the baskets of stone were that ran down through there. There's the, with the wire. So now every bit of the mine water now is running out into this temporary uh, diversion channel. And that'll give you an idea of how much water is actually coming out of those mines. And that's, that's continuous. I've seen it a little bit less in really, really dry weather. And it is really dry now. But for the most part, that's still flowing great. Starting to get a little, you see the orange starting to gather up on the sides there, the orange streaking. So yesterday you didn't even see that. 
Now today, because the water's pooling here just a little bit, you're starting to see that orange uh, rust and stuff gather up on the sides there from the iron and the metals in the water. So no more water flowing into the ponds, no more water flowing into the, the wetlands. And uh, I'm, I'm actually curious to see how long it's going to take for them to, to dry up. They might even have to cut a channel in there to get that out of there. That pooling right there. But there is just a trickle of water now flowing through the spillways from the ponds and through the wetlands. So that's just mainly just mud now. There's barely any water left in it. And just a little pooling right there. This big gravel is hard to walk on. So just a little pool of water there with a little slow trickle. And if you look at yesterday's video, how much water was coming out of here versus what's coming out of there today, it was pretty much the caliber of that or the the width of that uh, spillway right there where you can see the orange staining now there's just about a six eight inch trickle six eight inches wide just flowing in there all right so this is the, the first time since 1997 when they did the original reclamation that there's been no water flowing through these Brought in some pretty big stone today. A couple piles there. And everything just parked and setting for the weekend. Alright, so that'll end part two of the water diversion. And uh, like I said, unless they do something more up there where it just runs into that, that channel and catches the other pipe. That's pretty much it for the water diversion at this point. So hopefully next week we really start to see what they're going to get into. I drove the Jeep down here today. I didn't want to dig the ATV out because I had a tractor in behind it and everything. So I can do it. <laughs> I just come out of the woods right up there, right up there at the top where that little knoll is. There's a, an old dirt path that comes down through there and all the way across my farm. So I'm sweating like a pig because it's hot out here and I've been working since I got off work. So do me a favor. If you guys like these videos, leave me a thumbs up, please. Uh, it's got to do with the YouTube algorithm. I've got 1,171 subscribers. I've got like 600 and some views on yesterday's video and maybe seven likes. So if you don't like it, that's one thing. But if you do and you enjoy it, leave me a thumbs up and uh, help the channel out a little bit. And I'll keep doing this for you guys and, and keep you up on what's going on and everything. And uh, like I said, this is probably going to go until, I think they said December. And uh, I'll keep you guys up on as much of it as I possibly can. But please, you know, give the videos a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you want to to the channel to stay up on this. And I'll, I'll get, I'll dig into a little bit more later on here when I get a chance to come down and talk to these guys and find out what the next process is and everything like that and get a little bit more detail about what's going on. But, you know, this is a big step here. Like I said, that's the first time water has not been flowing through these ponds and wetlands since 1997 when they done the original reclamation. And you've seen in 24 hours time, that water is already starting to stain that fabric. So that'll give you an idea. Even though that water looks pristine clean like it did yesterday, it'll show you there's a lot of iron, a lot of metals in that water that are oxidizing now that they're coming out and getting, getting exposed to oxygen and stuff, atmospheric oxygen. So neat little stuff to learn about. Anyways, please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you would, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care and God bless.